In this video, I'm going to show you how to barrel roll your 360 video so you can make a video that looks like this. It's really easy to do and it works with any 360 camera, but you will need Premiere Pro and the GoPro VR Reframe plugin. Once you got those, let's get started. Open Premiere Pro and create a new project. Next, import the 360 video you want to roll over. Any 360 video from any 360 camera will work. This particular footage was shot on the Insta360 ONE X. Drag your 360 video into your project. Next, create a new sequence for your video. In this example, I will make a tall 4x5 video for Instagram. Name the sequence, I will call it Barrel Roll. In Settings, change Edit Mode to Custom. Change the time base to the frame rate of your footage. To find the frame rate of your footage, go to your file, right click it, select properties, go to the details tab and under video heading you'll see here the frame rate is 29.97. So in Premiere Pro I will change the time base to 29.97. The best 4x5 resolution for Instagram and Facebook is 1080 by 1350. If you want to make a video for YouTube then set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Click OK. Next double click your footage to bring it into the source monitor. This is where you can preview your footage and decide which part of the video you want to bring into your timeline. I just want the video and no audio. So I will drag the video icon onto my timeline and select keep existing settings. I will drag this to zoom into the timeline. Next I am going to add the GoPro VR Reframe plugin. So go to effects, search for reframe and drag the effect onto your footage. My footage is facing the wrong way so I will rotate the yaw 180 degrees to look forward. The yaw is basically the left and right pivot of the video. I will zoom in the video to reduce the fisheye effect. To zoom in, change the field of view to something less than 50. I will use 35. If you are using 1x footage, then you can apply the 1x LUT. It looks a bit dark, so I will lift the shadows. And the color grading looks fine now. Next, I am going to speed up this footage to turn it into a hyperlapse. To do this, right click your footage, select speed duration, change the speed to 400% and change time interpolation to frame blending. This will create motion blur and click OK. Now my footage is 3 seconds long. I'm going to start the barrel roll half a second into the video. To do this, I will select half a second on the timeline and add a keyframe for roll. Now I will go to the last half a second on the timeline and change the roll to minus 360. This will make your video barrel roll clockwise. If you want to barrel roll anti-clockwise then enter 360 instead. Finally change smooth transition to 50. This will make the changes between keyframes smoother. If I play this back you will now see the barrel roll effect. Now if you want to you can loop this video to go backwards. To do this select the footage, press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy it and press Ctrl V on the keyboard to paste it. Join the footage together, right click this footage, select speed duration, check reverse speed and click OK. If I play this back you will now see the video loop. When you are ready to export your video go to file, export, media. I am going to select a preset I created for myself to export 4x5 videos for Instagram. Make sure export video and export audio is checked. The width, height and frame rate should be the same as your sequence settings. Set bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass and set target and maximum bitrate to 16 megabits per second. Click export. And that's it. You now know how to barrel roll your 360 video.